Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be discussing the new Beauty and the Beast movie and I went and see it yesterday and I just, instead of in instantly recording what I thought, I just let it sit and process for a bit so I could like gather my thoughts to like lump them together cohesively because when it finished I was just like, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, and just like trying to figure out how I felt. So we're gonna get into some stuff that I love, some stuff that I didn't like, and overall what I thought about the film. If you want, just want a recommendation to go see it, I encourage you to go see it. Like, it it was an immersive film. There was at some points where the immersion broke because some of the songs, the tempo had changed from the original. So it was like you're getting ready for it and then it's just like this break and you're just sort of taken out of like the whole spectacle for a second before getting swept back up. And so that bit of it, like the immersive quality of the film is really good. I really loved all the set designs. I loved all the costuming. I wasn't sure of on Belle's dress, not because I thought it was his, it's just because I really liked the animated dress and I've seen a lot of cosplayers do really well-made copies of the animated dress and so when they released a new one I'm like oh that doesn't look so bad and it was beautiful the dance scene was really well done I really liked just that aspect of it overall so the costuming the atmosphere and the immersion was great the characters I loved um, Dan Stevens as the Beast oh my god like he has come so far from when he did Downton Abbey and he was so good in Downton Abbey and when he came out, when he was a beast, like just seeing him in that role, I was like, yes! I really liked that. I liked Lumiere and Cogsworth and Plumet. Plumet is played by one of my favourite actresses, Juju. And she did a film called Belle, which was also her set in a historical time period, so I really loved her in that role. Mrs. Potts, Emma Thompson was really good. Luke Evans as Gaston, I really... I enjoyed his take on it. I really would have liked someone just a little bit more stocky, but I think Luke Aaron did fantastic. Josh Gad as Li Fu was a, one of the best decisions ever. Like, I loved that character so much. I was so for it, and he just, he, rel he relished in the role of Lee Fu, and he wasn't a bumbling psychic. He wasn't stupid. He, he was a fully fleshed out character. And I really love the um, comedic moments that Josh gave to LeFou. There wasn't that many like in the original film. And that was something else that I really missed. I really missed those little comedic moments that broke up the heavy atmosphere of the film. Like they left out like the scene where Beast is like watching Belle with her horse. And Cogsworth is like... Uh, flowers, chocolates, promises you don't intend to keep, but stuff like that that just had that little bit of humour to it I really missed in this film. Not to say that like the the relationships and the friendships were portrayed very faithful to the to the old film, especially the Lumiere Cogsworth. I just wish there would have been a little bit more of the back and forth between the two because they are my favourite comedic duo. Like I love them so much. I really loved also the the film is about two hours, so it gives us enough time to get backstory of the Beast himself and backstory of Belle, and I think that was really good. I'm, um, I'm happy that they did it, but at, at points it just it disrupted again, broke the immersion because you were seeing there and then it's just like... So that's it for characters, and the last thing I want to talk about is the music. Now, for me, when I heard that... Um, they were doing the music, I was really nervous. Not because of anyone singing, I just was like, this is really iconic music, this, if, you know, what are they going to do? Are they going to rewrite a whole original score? Or are they going to keep the original score? But what are they going to do with it? And I was really worried about Emma Watson singing, because obviously, Paige O'Hara, Broadway actress, this is, the, the soundtrack is Broadway, like it is Broadway through and through. And for the most part the music was fine. All the new songs I loved. I loved Evermore, Dan Stevens, Steal My Heart. I loved the the sun, the days when the sun was here, which I think replaced or was an homage to Human Again, which is one of my favourite Beauty and the Beast songs. It's sung by the servants and it's really good. But my problem was is that they altered the tempo and the beats of the originals 
I don't know what, like, I understand to an extent why they did that, but it just, it took me a bit of back. But I will give props to Emma Thompson for Beauty and the Beast. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. And the Be My Guest sung by Ian McGregor. Those two were fantastic. I love those. Like, the whole Be Our Guest scene was spectacularly done. Um, the Beauty and the Beast dancing scene, like I said before, spectacularly done. But the opening bell, I just, I felt that there was no energy. Like, there was energy, but it wasn't, like, a rush. Because in the animated version, everyone's very much hustle and bustle and doing everything. And I just, I preferred that version of Bell and Bell reprise. But I will give props to Emma and the team for doing the best that they could. I just personally felt that that was a bit lacking. And then we get to Maurice, and Maurice was fine. I loved Kevin Klein in this. He's now voiced three of my favorite characters. Um, Phoebus from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Miguel from The Elf Road to Eldorado, and Maurice. So he was fine. I really loved how they did the little switch with Belle being the inventor and the father being an artist. I think that was a nice switch on it. But yeah, that's all my thoughts on the film. Um, I really did enjoy it for what it was. Like I said, there were a few problems that I had, but I would honestly ask you to just give it a watch and judge for yourself. I just felt that there was a lot of stuff that they changed just slightly. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you have seen the new Beauty and the Beast scene, tell me down below what you thought. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Please tell me down in the comments below. Um, and until next time, I will see you guys later and have a fabulous day.